Happy New Year, and welcome to With One Accord, presented by the Houston Chamber Choir. I'm Robert Simpson, founder and artistic director. We began this series in March 2020, just days after the COVID outbreak forced the cancellation of all gatherings, including concerts. It was our way of staying in touch with you, and we've been pleased that so many of you are enjoying it. Though the arrival of a vaccine gives us great hope, until that happy day when we can once again join together to experience the thrill of live concerts, it is my hope that with one accord we'll continue to unite, renew, and refresh us through the power of choral music. Our first guest of the new year is the Chicago-based professional choir Bella Voce. Bella Voce is Italian for beautiful voice, and this superb ensemble measures up to its name in every way. Founded in 1983 as His Majesty's Clarks, its expanding vision and repertoire led to a new name in 2001, Bella Voce. Whether music of the Renaissance and Baroque or works by living composers, Bella Voce proudly enriches Chicago's rich cultural tapestry through intimate and moving performances. Their adventurous programming earned them Chorus America's prestigious Alice Parker Award. The Chicago Tribune recently declared them one of the crown jewels of choral music in the city. After years of collaborating with outstanding instrumental ensembles, Bella Voce took the bold step in 2018 of establishing its own period instrument orchestra, Bella Voce Symphonia. We will hear both the chorus and orchestra in today's performance. In 2005, Andrew Lewis became Bella Voce's artistic director. A musician described by the Chicago Tribune as an inspiring conductor, scholar, and educator, Andrew is also music director of the Elgin Master Chorale, choir master of St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Evanston, a member of the faculty at the University of Illinois at Chicago, and assistant conductor of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra Chorus. This impressive list of positions attests to his superb musicianship and the high esteem in which he is held. Here is Andrew to tell us about the work he, Bella Voce, and the Bella Voce Symphonia will be performing. The greatest musical artwork of all times and all people. So wrote Swiss publisher Hans Georg Negeli in 1818, who bought the original manuscript of Johann Sebastian Bach's Mass in B minor from Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach's heirs and wished to publish it. The story of the B minor mass begins with the composition of the Kyrie and Gloria, written in 1733 as part of a petition to the newly installed elector of Saxony, Friedrich August II. Bach was seeking a title of Your Highness's Court Capella, one of the most revered musical ensembles in all of Europe. Bach was seeking a title from the court because he was deeply frustrated with the authorities in Leipzig, and he wished to gain leverage over them during a protracted dispute between factions on the town council. It took a few years, but Bach did eventually get the title he sought. We're going to listen to the Cum Sancto Spiritu, the final section of the Gloria. It is a spirited dance that erupts with incredible, over-the-top jubilation, made all the more striking because the aria that precedes it, the Quoniam tu solus sanctus, is stately, noble, and very unusual in its scoring for bass soloist, pairs of bassoons, French horn, and continua. And because the aria doesn't cadence on its own, but moves straight into the Cum Sancto Spiritu, which uses the full orchestra, including bright trumpets and timpani, as well as the full chorus. It is in symmetrical five-part A-B-A-B-A form, where the A sections are free declamatory material and the B sections are fugues. Listen especially in the second fugue for rapid, false, or incomplete entrances of the subject peppered around real entrances in stretto. This pileup of entrances is what gives the music its unrestrained, manic exaltation.
The Houston Chamber Choirs with One Accord is your one-stop shop for choral joy. If you enjoyed this podcast, help us to continue our mission to grow the esteem and appreciation of choral music by sharing, reviewing, and subscribing to our content. As a 501c3 nonprofit, support from listeners like you allows us to continue making new and exciting programming. For more information about us and how you can support our work, please visit HoustonChamberChoir.org give.